All right, come on, let's hear it. <laughs> I know you guys have some shots to take at this one, but can your gas truck do this? <laughs> I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at the all-new 2022 Ford F-150 XLT 4x4 Super Crew Lightning. Party tricks aside, this new electric full-size pickup might not be as bad as you think. Breaking new ground is this 2022 iconic silver metallic Ford F-150 XLT 4x4 Super Crew Lightning. The Lightning moniker means this is a totally electric truck that comes standard with daytime running lamps, LED projector with dynamic bending headlamps and tail lamps, fully boxed steel frame, front tow hooks, box link, manual folding exterior side mirrors with LED turn signals, rear privacy glass, LED spotlights, power up down front hood, power tailgate lock, class four trailer hitch with smart trailer tow connector, trailer sway control, zone lighting, and removable tailgate. The interior houses a leather wrapped steering wheel, 12 inch productivity screen, sync four with 12 inch screen, 60-40 fold-up rear bench, AC with dual climate control, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, auto dim rear view mirror, rear view camera, illuminated entry, Sirius XM radio, interior work surface, power adjustable pedals, Ford Pass Connect 4G hotspot with over-the-air updates, two 120-volt power points, two 12-volt outlets, tilt and telescopic steering column, secure code keyless entry, and intelligent access with push-button start. Safety features include 360-degree camera, forward sensing system, lane keeping system, post-collision braking, pre-collision assist with auto emergency braking, reverse brake assist, reverse sensing, rear seat reminder, as well as bliss with trailer tow coverage and cross traffic alert. Now for the options that include Equipment Group 312A that has the XLT Lightning Series, 10-way power driver and multi-adjustable power front passenger cloth seats, 20-inch dark carbonized wheels wrapped in 275 60 Series General Grabber HTS 60 tires, LED box lighting, heated front seats, heated steering wheel, partitioned lockable fold flat storage, 9.6 kilowatt pro power on board, tailgate step, and tailgate work surface. There's also the dual e-motor extended range battery and the electric drive e-lock rear axle. The tow technology package includes onboard scales with smart hitch, integrated trailer brake controller, tough bed bed liner, and power tailgate. Finish things off with an eight year, 100,000 mile electric vehicle components warranty, and you get a total MSRP of $76,259. Aesthetically, I feel this Lightning is more along the basic side of things. The lights are basic, the grill is basic, the wheels are okay, but nothing's too aggressive for the sake of aerodynamics. Something that's much more noteworthy is this truck's independent rear suspension. It's a first for any full-size pickup and is comprised of independent semi-trailing arms, coil springs, and a stabilizer bar. This setup will allow for a max payload of over 2,200 pounds and when properly equipped, a max tow capacity of 10,000 pounds. And with the built-in onboard scales and smart hitch apps, you can get as close to those limits as you dare. And no, 
I don't weigh 200 pounds. The Lightning has a minimum ground clearance of 8.4 inches, but in case things get too extreme, all the important bits such as the battery and electric motors are protected via metal skid plates and the battery itself is in a waterproof casing surrounded by crash absorption protection. Open the power tailgate and access is simplified by the integrated step and assist handle. And like the hybrid F-150 we reviewed last year, the Pro Power onboard generator is present, pushing a 7.2 kilowatt output. Power is accessible via the in-cabin outlets or the multiple cargo bed outlets that include 12 volt 20 amp and 240 volt 30 amp outlets. With no engine up front, you now have access to a frunk via the power front hood. There's 14.1 cubic feet of storage and 400 pounds of payload up there, a cargo net, drain plugs in the floor, as well as power outlets with up to 2.4 kilowatts of juice, bringing the total to 9.6 kilowatts front and rear. And with 11 power outlets in all, you can plug in pretty much anything you can think of, powering other EVs or even your house for up to three days and Ford says you'll eventually be able to offer power back to the grid too. All that power makes this truck, well, powerful with a dual e-motor setup, one in front and one in the rear, comprised of two inboard three-phase fixed magnet AC motors. The combination makes a total 580 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque, the most torque from any F-150 ever. The extended range battery has a capacity of 131 kilowatt hours of usable energy, there's a locking rear differential, and it's all routed through a single speed transmission to all four wheels. This extended range Lightning has a 19.2 kilowatt onboard charger that, as you'd expect, takes forever using a level one wall charger. So again, get a level two charger installed at your home and life will be much simpler, providing a complete charge in as few as eight hours. Level 3 will get you from 15 to 80% in 41 minutes. As with all EVs, maps are included to help you locate the nearest charging stations, and there are various drive modes to choose from depending upon your needs. This thing is fast too, with an estimated 0 to 60 time of just 4.5 seconds. Our extended range tester can reportedly travel up to 320 miles when fully charged, and Auto Academics saw 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour during testing. One thing is for certain, big trucks provide big space and this Lightning is no different. Yeah, there's a lot of plastic, but there's quite a bit of functionality too, with AC vents, a 12 volt outlet, USB A and C ports, plenty of cup holders, and a 120 volt 20 amp outlet. There's storage behind the passenger side seat and the rear bench can fold up to reveal lockable storage beneath. And with the flat floor, you can even store larger items back there that you want to keep dry and secure. Well, as long as they have wheels smaller than my 29ers. If you've ever been in a current gen F-150, the view from the driver's seat will look familiar from the dash to the center stack to the transformable workstation. It's all present in very much traditional F-150. The denim look of the door panels is cool, but the stereo, not so much. So do yourself a favor. If the B&O upgrade is available, get it. Then thank me later. <laughs> One final feature worth noting is the 360 degree camera. Ford's vehicles, or the cameras in their vehicles, typically have good clarity, but this one in particular can show you specific angles such as front right corner, left rear corner, or anything in between. It's well thought out and could prove to be very useful. So now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives.
You know, without driving this back to back with a gas version, this still feels like an F-150. Even with the additional 300 pounds or more added to the curb weight, I don't feel much of a difference. That's probably due to the independent rear suspension and low center of gravity, which I'm sure help with handling. Woo! <laughs> Power is amazing. I'm all for the sound that a V8 engine makes, but step on this and you'll quickly forget it. The first time I drove it, I could tell from the seat of my pants that this was really quick. But then after reading the specs, it all made sense. Four and a half seconds to 60 is no joke. And if you try to take on one of these in a Mustang GT, you might end up crying instead of laughing. Yes, I know the Mustang is slightly quicker, but don't sleep. This truck is really smooth too, with no gears to shift. And while I'm singing its praises, these brakes feel great. And not just for an EV. I wish some traditional setups felt as good as these. Cabin insulation is up to par with other EVs. I mean, you barely hear any wind noise at speed, let alone road noise. Now, besides a better stereo, one thing I do wish this truck had was power folding mirrors. Because if you hate washing cars, let alone big trucks like I do, and want to park it in the garage, it's a pain having to reach out the window to fold them in. With gas prices the way they are, I've truly enjoyed driving this truck. Now, all I need is a level two charger at my house and the charging infrastructure to get better because today's EVs are ready. So there you have it guys, the all new 2022 Ford F-150 XLT 4x4 Super Crew Lightning. It's powerful, comfortable, extremely quick, and doesn't require a drop of fuel. Is it the perfect F-150? Well, only you can say, but best believe there are more like it on the way. So if an EV like this is for you, let us know in the comments section below. And if it isn't, <laughs> go ahead and take a few more shots at it. I think it can take it. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.